In this video, I will show you how to do simple edits to a Physiopedia page. First, you need to make sure you are logged in. Once you are logged in, you will see the tools and the edit drop down menu bars and also the option to log out. So let's look for a page to edit. We're going to edit the Gluteus Maximus page. So we're logged in, we click on the edit drop down menu and we choose the edit option. This will take us into edit mode. Once we're in edit mode, you will see that the page changes slightly and you will now see a navigation toolbar at the top of the page. This toolbar contains all the functions that you need to make edits to the page. In edit mode, you can add new text or you can make changes to the text that's already on the page. But for this tutorial, we're going to add some new text. So let's type that in there. And let's look at what we can do with our text. So let's go back up to the navigation toolbar. And on the left hand side there, we'll see the option title paragraph. Let's click the down button. And we can see we have the option of adding heading. So let's add this. We can see that our text now looks very different. If we go back up, let's look at a subheading. Now our heading looks different from the heading above and the text below. When working with headings, remember not to add any additional styling. If you do, it will change the appearance of the heading and it will look different when you're finished editing your page and you save it. Okay, so let's go back up. So we could add all different headings but let's take that away now. So let's, we take that away, let's click on paragraph and we can see that our text is back to before. So now let's look at the next option, that's text styling. So we need to highlight our text. And if we click on the down option, we can see that we can add bold. If we click more, we can choose underline. Let's go back and let's choose italics. So if we click to the right side of our text now, we can see that our text looks different. It's in bold, it's underlined, and it's in italics. But let's take that away. So we can go back up and we can use the uh, clear styling option to remove all our formatting there. So next on the navigation toolbar is something that looks a little bit like a link in a chain. We use this to link to Physiopedia, Physiopedia pages and also external links. Okay, so let's, we're gonna actually link to a Physiopedia page. So let's type something in the box. And let's link to the Gluteus Medius page. So now if we go back up to our text and we click to the right, we can see our text is in blue. And if we click on that, we can see the link we added to the Gluteus Medius page. Next on the navigation toolbar is a site option. This is where we can add references to our text. Let's, we're not going to go into very much detail, but let's add some basic text. So let's insert that. And we will now see that a number has appeared next to our text. If we scroll down the page and we go to our reference list, we will see that the citation we added has been added to the list automatically. So there I am. So let's go back up. Let's remove that number. We don't need that for now. So let's take that citation away. And then if we go back up to the navigation toolbar, we can see the option to make lists on our page. So let's have a look. Here we can add bullets or numbers. So let's add a bullet list. We can see that a bullet appears. If we add a new line, a new bullet automatically appears. And another line, and another one. So let's take that text away. Let's go back and look at adding a numbered list. So we can see now number one appears automatically. Add a new line and it's now number two. Let's type in some text. If we add another line, we now see number three. So that's how we add a numbered list. Next, we can see the insert option. This is where we could add media and tables. 
but we're not going to actually look at this right now. So let's go along to the right side of the navigation toolbar and we can see something here that looks a little bit like a hamburger. If we click on this, we can add categories to our page. We can see that this page has been added to quite a few categories. If we wanted to add it to another category, we click in the blue box and we type in our category and then we would click apply changes. But we're not going to do that, so let's cancel. Let's come out of that. The next important button on this navigation toolbar is the save page option. It's really important to save your page after you do your edits. Don't do really long edits without saving your page. It's possible that you may lose all of the edits that you've done. So remember, make sure you save your page often. So let's save our page now. Let's type in what we did. So this is just a description of what you've done. It's a minor edit, so we click minor and we click save page. So now here we can see our save page, the, the list we added, and also we can see that the text where we linked to a Physiopedia page. Let's click on that and it will take us to the gluteus medius page. So that's what the page that we linked to. So let's close that page now and go back to our, our edited page. So that's how we do basic editing in Physiopedia. But let's go back into the page and take out the text that we just added. But I'm going to show you another way to edit a page. There's another option to edit pages called edit source mode. And this is really useful. This is really good when you need to do complicated editing or when you find there are any code errors on a page. We do this by going into the source code editing mode. This is the code on which all Physiopedia pages are based. So let's have a look at editing in source code mode. There are two ways that we can enter source code mode. We can either click on the um, two square brackets at the top of the page here, or we can go back up to the edit menu and choose edit source. This will display the source code which looks quite different than the page we were editing before. And it does take a little bit of time to get used to, but once you've used it a few times, it really is a good way to find problems in the text or if you're having difficulty or need to do complex editing. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at what we've got. So if we, we can see some square brackets here where we added the link to our page. So we can see the page that we linked to and the text that we added. You can also see these square brackets at the top of the page. So the, wherever you see square brackets, you know there's going to be a link. So when it's by the editor's code, this is where they can click on the link and go to the uh, editor's profile page. We can also see here there's a hashtag. This is where we had our number list. If we'd have kept the bullet list, we would have seen asterisks instead. So let's take this out. The other thing that you'll notice is we no longer have the navigation toolbar at the top of the page. There are There is a small toolbar there that you can add some basic formatting. But most times when, you, when you're using edit source mode, you'll put the, the code in directly if you want to style your text. Um, if you want to find out more about editing in edit source mode, you can look up the wiki code um, on the internet, or you can check out our wiki. Uh, we have our very own Physiopedia wiki cheat sheet. And this has some more of the commonly used codes that we use on our pages. But as I said, at first it may seem a little bit complex, but it gets easier. So the save option for this is at the bottom of the page. So let's save our page now. And now we can see our page is back to normal. So this is a brief overview on how to edit a Physiopedia page. It really is as simple as that.